The first one, Dinner on a Dime, Chris Bays, who uh, has helped us put this together, could not be here today. Um, she was called away on an emergency. So I'm going to give you just a real brief um, overview of what Dinner on a Dime is. And uh, Susie and Sherry are also leaders for this. If you'd like to come up with me, why well, I'd like for you to share if you have anything to. Basically, Dinner on a Dime is to teach women how to cook in balance and cook in budget. There's nothing really uh, amazing. and um, we, we have not gotten into vegetarian, etc. cetera, um, because we figure first we should do the basics. So this is the basics. Uh, it's a four by four by four program. So for instance, we're going into new directions and we're getting four participants. There are four menus, and we go in once a month for four months. We do beef, chicken, fish, and pork. So, as, as well as whatever goes with that. Now, one thing we're finding here, and we will find as we also move into Family Recovery Center and Women's Resource Center, which we're scheduled to do, is that we need to be flexible based on the scheduling, the facilities they have, and the training needs of the individuals we serve. For instance, we found with New Directions, because we're do dealing with emancipated foster youth who are 18 up to 24, who may not have the basis and the basics of, of what other children do, because they've been in institutional care, or they've been in 20 foster homes, etc. So with them, we are going to be attending their regular meeting, telling them what the program is, and introducing Girlfriends Care to them and the Dinner on a Dime workshop concept, the cooking classes. Um, we're going to ask them what dishes would you like to make or learn to make. Um, and we figured this out, Susie. This is one of the jokes. Um, come here, Susie. <laughs> it's a really, really fun program. And the girls, the, and we have some guys too, that are really fun. And, and they're really excited to learn, which is fun. But um, I don't mean this to be racist, but um, we had two white women teaching four Mexicans how to make tacos. <laughs> <laughs> and we took a can of canned beans, was, refried beans was one of the items on the list, and when we, you stretch the taco meat, you put in the refried beans, and it makes it just go a little further. And they just looked at the can and said, what's that? And we said, oh, it's refried beans. And they're like, we've never seen one of these. You mean you don't make it? And we're like, no. <laughs> so it was, it's a very fun program. Get involved if you like to cook or if you just like to help, just like all these other programs. It's really fun. So that's where we came up with the necessity to say, what would you like to learn to cook? <laughs> <laughs> and we've also, with New Directions and the youth, we're asking them to make a commitment for one session. And after we go through the one cooking class, then we'll ask them for another commitment because they're in the process of learning about long-term commitments. So, but it's been a wonderful experience. Sherry, tell us what you think about your experience so far. Well, I really enjoy it and I do have a passion for cooking. And I think that um, getting parents involved and especially if they have little children, making that bond between mother and child it's really a special time for the mothers to really get to know their children, talk with them, but also give them a sense of pride and saying, I can help mommy out in the kitchen. So it's been really fun. I've actually had two uh, emancipated, and I'm going to say young ladies, I call them girls actually, and they've been sisters and they've been a joy to be with. And they just need that love and guidance and compassion to, for somebody to listen to them, tell them they're doing a good job, because um, they haven't had that before in their lives. And so you become sort of like a, I guess a surrogate mother or mentor to these young ladies, 
and you can not only help with the nutritional value, which we're teaching them, is uh, in that nutritional value, take a spaghetti sauce and throw in some carrots, high dose carrots and veggies somewhere in that recipe of that meatloaf, and it's really fun, you know, for them to to uh, gather the information that they've not had before uh, in a way that they can now provide their family with some nutrition, not just going to a fast food restaurant or something like that. And uh, we teach them how uh, to take a three pound uh, package of hamburger meat and divide it into three meals. So it's great, they're saving money, they're giving them nutrition, and it's helping all the way around. So I've really enjoyed it. So if anybody else has a passion for cooking, please come on board and join us. Thank you. It's not my passion, but I'm having so much fun working with New Directions and these women um, on the cooking programs. It's really cool. And we will be moving into Women's Resource Center and Family Recovery Center, and it'll be a whole different ball game because you're going into a different environment with people that have different experiences.